Hey everyone. Okay, so this is just going to be a quick update. So we were watching for the sun to start reacting and waking up in late May, also in July and August during the front side alignment. So we had just had an active region pass in mid-May showing A-class flares, which was the start to the solar activity waking up. Now we have another active region turning into view yet again, but this time it's showing much more activity via a series of B-class flares, a high C-class solar flare, which is a C9, and an M-class solar flare. That's pretty big. I've been closely monitoring the solar activity and the solar active region and making update posts on my Patreon. Yesterday I made a post that there was a series of B-class solar flares being observed observed, sorry, and that I would continue to closely monitor this. Okay, after all, this is one of the things we are watching for, the sun waking up and showing activity. Just like we were waiting for, the sun is now going into a sudden active phase. This new active region is sending off Bs, C, and even an M-class solar flares already. The M-class flare ha is like 100 times stronger than yesterday's B-class flares, just to note that. And coincidentally enough, the SDO satellites viewing the sun went down just before the flare happened. Okay, so the good thing for us, this is coming into view from just behind the sun's northeastern limb, so rotating earth-facing, meaning at this time it is not earth-facing. But we absolutely do need to continue monitoring this as it rotates earth-facing within the next 24 to 48 hours. It has already sent off the series of B-class solar flares and now the M-class flare, which is 100 times stronger, remember that. That's that, that much of a difference from the B-class flare to the M-class flare. It's about 100, 100 times stronger. Um, and then also the C-class, which was just under an M-class flare. It was just right there. It's, a C, it's labeled as a C9. Um, now, with our weakening magnetic field, this is especially needs to be watched closely. So continuing to monitor this as it comes into view and turns Earth-facing. Now, bigger flares that are Earth-facing can disrupt communications and cause blackouts with some system, systems, amongst other things. Plus, this has a health impact, well, all kinds of health impacts, but one of the major ones that I watch for are heart problems, etc. So, this is why we keep such a close eye on solar activity and geomagnetic storms. So, we're watching closely, and I'll let you know if anything else, you know, happens during it coming Earth-facing. Um, any more flares? You know, I'll be sure to let you all know. Okay, so the KP index is quiet right now. It's sitting at a KP1. And with the Earth-facing solar flares, the KP does go up. So this is a list of some of the risks. Now you should screenshot this and save it. Okay, that's all I'm going to do today. I had to do this quick. Y'all have a great day and thanks.